How you doing everybody? I'm Scott Jelinek, the founder of the Master Investor Academy, where we cover the five pillars of real estate investing. That's marketing, wholesale, rehab, rentals, and raising private money. And today's video is an extremely important one, and it is on the two words that you should never say to a motivated seller. Um, the reason I came up with this video is just yesterday, I have a coaching client of mine who I've been working with, and he's been doing everything right, but for some reason his closing ratios have not been really good. And so yesterday I decided I was going to go with him on a call and just sit there as an observer. We told the seller that I was just an assistant, I was just sitting there to take notes, and then I watched him go through his whole process. Now he did everything exactly the way he was taught, and he did very well through the whole entire presentation. He did good, him and the seller came to agreements, everything was perfect, and then Bam, all of a sudden you can see the seller's walls just came down, everything became cold, and all of a sudden they had to go and check on things and they'll call him back and they didn't want to do anything today. And instantly I knew what happened and what was the mistake. I blame myself because I had never taught him this. I've been doing this for so long that certain things I just take for granted and I think that everybody knows. And this is something that clearly I have taken for granted. I do it all the time, but I didn't realize everybody doesn't know it, which is why I thought it was so important to share this with you guys today. Have you ever had an appointment where you're on an appointment and exactly like I'm talking about my client, everything is going great, you're getting along good with them, you guys come to terms, everything is the way it was supposed to be, your rapport is built, pricing's not an issue, and all of a sudden you go to finalize the deal, put ink on paper, and all of a sudden they shut down, their walls come up, their guards up, and all of a sudden they don't want to do it, or they're like, I gotta call my cousin's sister's a paralegal, and, and she's gonna look this over first, or I gotta call my ex-husband and see if he can check this all for me before I sign anything. Well, let me tell you what happened, what went wrong, and it's real easy, there's two words that you could never say. They seem stupid once you know them, but when you think about it, you'll understand why. The two words are sign and contract. Sign and contract, kill people. When you go in, this is the way, if you follow my buy, my buy procedures, you know, we go, we go out to the car, we come back in with the paperwork. If you come in and say, okay, everything's great, exactly the way you want it, I just need you to sign this contract. The second they hear that word sign and contract, all they're thinking is, I've been warned about this, I can't sign a contract without having my lawyer look at it, or I have to have somebody research this for me. I can't just sign something without having it, you know, researched properly, read carefully, check every word for something. Contract scares people. Their signature scares them. So what do you do? You need them to sign the contract. So what are you gonna do? You have to go in there and get them to sign the contract. It's not that you're not asking them to sign the contract, you're just changing your words. Your words are very important here, and if you go in and ask them to sign the contract, you will kill about 30% of your deals will never happen because of those two, two words. If you just change those words, and I'm gonna tell you exactly what to say, instead of sign the contract, just go in with the same paperwork and just say, I just need you to approve this paperwork, or I need you to approve this agreement, everything we already discussed. I just need you, I just need you an initial here just to approve everything we've already discussed, but never say, I need you to sign this contract. Trust me on this, try it. If you're not having an easy time closing deals, try this out and let me know how it goes for you. I guarantee you're gonna close more deals. Just changing your wording, that's all it is. You're changing from sign this contract to approve this paperwork or approve this agreement. Whenever you email it to somebody, I always say I've attached the purchase agreement. I never say I've attached the contract. Never use the word contract again. Contract scares people. Signing stuff scares people. You're just asking them to approve the paperwork. Don't ask them to sign a contract. Trust me, give this a try. Let me know how it works out for you. I greatly appreciate your feedback and your comments. Feel free to comment below. I would love to know how this works out for you. But trust me, if you try it, you're gonna give me some positive response. You're gonna be very happy with it. This works, it works wonders. It, uh, it bothered me that for, for so long I've been teaching people and I've always known this, but I take it for granted and I have not taught them these two words not to say until now. Obviously, it's gonna be part of the standard procedure now. I, uh, you know, you take things for granted that I know that I don't realize everyone else doesn't know. So now I want to make sure that you know. Good luck with everything. Scott Jelinek with the Master Investor Academy. Please, uh, please like this video and leave any comments below. Let me know how it worked out for you. And uh, have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.